Well, let's take a stroll down, uh, let's call this Catface Lane. Um, right here we got some stucco lath going up. That's the white stuff that goes left to right. And uh, HVAC man is roughing in over here. We got shingles stocked over here, waiting for this roof to get dried in. Shingles stocked to the left. Here we're waiting for uh, the house wrap guys to come and house wrap. See that exposes lumber? That it needs to get wrapped with the uh, house wrap. We got a load of trusses right here, and this is causing a jam because we're flying trusses to the left. We're pumping a slab to the right. We got the interior framers cranking away here to the right. Here's interior frame pack. See all that by the fire hydrant right there? And uh, there's another one right behind it. There's all the plywood these boys are going to need after they fly the trusses to set the uh, decking. And this man can't get through because we got a valley of trusses. He's bringing trusses for me down the road here. Here we got partial trusses set. And all this work here on the ground, they call it prepping the trusses. Uh, it's a lot easier to uh, do all those little joists attached to the girder on the ground than it is up in the air. So they just install the entire assembly here on the ground. They just fly the whole thing as one unit. And uh, here they partially set a couple of my trusses right here. Wait for the crane. This is all for me. And we got the slab going over down. Yonder, we got uh, Framer finishing up his decking. Uh, we ran out of plywood material, and it was worse. Uh, so, got to get this going. But I got to supervise this, uh, take a look at this slab pour. I got to read the tickets, make sure we're getting the right mix. So, we started off pretty good, but this is be about one of the last trucks here. There's a good, hard-working bunch of guys.